Hello, hello everyone. I'm Undamned and I'm playing a little bit of Subnautica today for you guys. I know it seems a bit laggy at first, but uh, it, it gets better as I get into the game. So, I'm going to be doing a brand new survival game with you guys. And uh, I feel that this is something I can really keep up on. Fuck me, man. I, I don't know how I was ever, ever able to commit in anything. So, because fucking I have never stuck with a series before so maybe maybe we could turn the tables now maybe now that I'm getting a bit more serious on YouTube um, maybe now that I'm no longer fucking around just doing stupid shit oops I could actually focus on something for once um, I am still in school so of course videos will be a little bit delayed and belated but I hope that we can all get through the suffering of having to wait. Now I know that there's a lot of people who have done Subnautica. Uh, I have never seen any of their videos though because I'm I'm a hipster faggot who doesn't like to watch other people play video games anymore. Um, but I will tell you that uh, that I'm not. I'm not opted out of uh, playing my own let's plays of video games that other people have done. I'm not too much of a hipster to where I believe I can't can't do anything that isn't unoriginal. Of course, I'm a fucking gaming channel. <laughs> I'm the most unoriginal fuck there is. Probably. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody more unoriginal than me. Maybe the MLG shit's more unoriginal than video games. Who knows? I mean, ever since Arby and the Chief came out, you know, video games have been strong on YouTube. But enough about that. This game is fucking amazing. Now, <laughs> I have some hardware, uh, I want to say, ah, dude, I don't even know what to call it. But I have terrible hardware on my computer. Uh, it's not for lack of a better word. It's it's just that I can't find a good intelligent word to use. So I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna make my fucking brain smoke over it. Well, here we are. Subnautica, baby. I I like it. It's a good game. I was uh, I was recommended it by Lampook. He gave me the game. And I, I was like, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. And I ran with it. Oh, I think I just... Oh, right, 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 right mouse click. Right, right mouse button. Yeah, that fucking... That hardcore EDM, dude. Love that shit. Alright, so this is gonna teach us about the PDA. We hit tab to open it up. I've played this once before, for a little bit. I've gotten up to the Sea Glider. Sea Glider? Or was it Sea Glide? I don't remember. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Oh, I've, I'm already familiarized with this. Here we have our inventory. It's a, uh, quite a small one. Uh, we have blueprints here, which are the, mostly the starting blueprints. Uh, those are all things you can make in uh, the... Oh, right. I need to remember not to hit, what is that, 2 plus 3 hours since planet fall, okay. Damn, it's been 3 hours that my ship's been on fire? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying bullshit to that. Uh, sustenance, water, wait, hold on. Okay. Excuse me while I vape, I do do that sometimes. And that's the inventory of the crafting station. Damn it, I need to remember to not hit. <laughs> Let's just put that thing away. That thing's gonna get us into trouble. What do we have in here? Okay, so we start off with some nutrient blocks, some water, and some flares. I didn't see what we started off with last time because I was so eager to get into the game that I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get right on into it. Uh oh man. 
So, what have we got to do? I don't think she told me to do anything in here, and I don't recall doing anything in here that was uh, necessary or required to play the rest of the game. The aurora suffered catastrophic hull failure, caused unknown zero human life signs detected in a hundred meter range, which makes sense. Um, you might find, uh, you will find later on that things are a bit scattered. So let's hop on into this game. This game is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna need some of these, but last time I uh, I gathered quite a bit, and uh, I didn't need so many, but that should be a good enough amount. At, at least for now, you know, nothing serious. Uh, so what am I down on food? I want that Gary fish. So I know, I know, it's a bit laggy for me. I'm not a fucking thousand air who can afford an Alienware computer. S but I mean, I can run the game. So, and record it simultaneously, and my voice simultaneously. So uh, I think, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm a go. I mean, fuck, dude, I played Minecraft on a Mac computer with a shit <laughs> mic. Trent is consistent with ongoing okay. degradation at the Aurora's dark mass okay. drive core That's damage sustained during That's nice. I know. Yes. Oh, I didn't want to drop that. Uh oh well, I didn't drop that, fortunately. What was I saying? Yeah, so uh but I can run the game, so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna record it because it is something that I want to do. Oh, it's gonna give me a tool tip for breaking uh, yeah, tool tip for breaking limestone. Perhaps that's a tool tip. Let's just go ahead and break that open. What did we get? We got copper ore. Top left hand corner, right here. That's where uh, the information goes. Uh, when you pick up fish and uh, rocks and minerals and stuff like that. Ooh, a cave already. You will... Ooh. <laughs> You'll find that uh, that's where you'll... Ooh. Oh, it blew up the thing. Pissed. Alright, we'll go grab some oxygen. Why not? Whew, I nearly died. That was a close one. Salvage, this is what we need. This stuff is good. It takes up a lot of inventory space, though. As you can see. Um, I've played a little bit. I haven't done too much. I haven't gotten very far. I got up to the sea glide. I promise you guys, this is pretty much fresh to me. This is brand new. But I did go in with... Or I am going into this series with a little bit of prior experience and knowledge... So don't don't be mad at me, please. Qu uh, quartz. This is what we need too. I don't Emergency. remember what for. Ten Ooh, boomerang fish. Get. Remaining. Ah, you lucky sons of bitches. You're lucky I have to breathe. <laughs> now this game isn't uh, isn't it's an it's an open beta. Uh, no, not an open beta. What am I to, maybe it is an open beta. Is that what it's considered? I, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know my terms very well. Uh, this game is still in beta, though. I know that much. Uh, I don't want to say anything stupid that I might be, you know, called out for. Be like, this fucking guy doesn't know what open beta is. Sorry for the cussing, I'm sorry. I do cuss uh, a little bit. A wee bit. But it, I promise you, I don't go overboard. Okay, maybe I do. I'm still an edgy fuck. Let's hop on into this. Yeah, this game is amazing. I love it. Let's go ahead and grab some more cuckoofish. So after about maybe an hour of... Damn it. Keep forgetting to not hit escape. Luckily, the, the mini doesn't pop up, does it? Yeah. I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to save this game. I might not be able to. For some reason... It's not pausing. Um. <laughs> all right. Uh, excuse me while I burp. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not too. I'm not too knowledgeable on this game. Uh, we, this should be a fresh experience for everyone Emergence. around watching. <sighs> I hate oxygen, man. All right, let's go make a damn oxygen tank. I'm I'm tired of this stuff. Also, uh, Lampuki, speaking of him uh, in the beginning as I gave him a shout out and was rudely interrupted by the computer, he's the one who showed me this game. You guys should definitely go and give him a sub. He's a great dude. He's 
he's really fun to be around, and he's always got some. I, I guess on a more personal level, though, that's where he's got his uh, his talents for being such a good friend. Um, honestly, just go subscribe to him. He's got great content. I mean, well, he's got great content coming forth, but he hasn't quite got it out yet, unfortunately. So, yeah. Do I have this yet? I do, yes. I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to save, man. Let me just take a second. Well, yeah, I don't think there's any way to save, so uh, next episode we'll be starting a new game, for sure. Unfortunately, but, you know, I just, I wanted to get a feel for the game some more. You know, I don't, I don't always want to start over. So, before I, uh, record, um episodes after this I will be checking to make sure I can save the game before making any progress into it well, let's go ahead and grab some food really need food man man I, you know that is one thing about this game this game is utterly gruesome you just take fish you put them on a table and then completely convert them into cooked fish in fractions of a second quick death yes but you just take fish from their fucking homes and just completely eradicate them from the ex their existence. It's it's gruesome. That's, that's some grim gridmark shit, man. I gotta say, uh, definitely something I wouldn't ever want to do. I hate fishing alone, not because it's such a patient sport, but because I've seen it. You, this lady. Uh, I was fishing, my my father and I looked over at her, no, my grandfather and I, or was it my dad? I think, no, it was my, gra my grandfather, yeah. Him and I were fishing, and uh, this lady was pulling fish out of the water and gutting them right then and there. Caution. Like, degradation of the Aurora's dry pool may cause a quantum I want to see this, actually. I think this would be Death a great way. 7%. By physical injury, Great way to introduce this. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 90%. Yeah. If the dry yeah. core is breached, oh my god. of death increases to 65%. Anyway, she was just gutting the fish right out of the water. Now, I can see... I, I can honestly relate with her. You know, I don't want those fish to suffer you know, breathing our air in and out and not being able to get the proper oxygen and just slowly dying. Like, that's fucking terrible. Ugh, I wouldn't want that for myself. But, um, for the fish? Man, I hate pulling them out of the water alone because I'm taking them out of their habitat and putting them into an environment where they can't survive. Ugh. Oh, that's terrible. But, you know, that's just me. Let's go ahead and grab an O2 tank. I want one of those. There we go. Now we can breathe a bit better. Compressed breathable air. I don't know if I need any more of those. Oop. Or can... Ugh, pardon me. Can take any more of those, but uh, I think I'll be... Uh, on the liberal side and say that I'm going to take this... Or I'm going to be on the conservative side and say that this is going to be the fine one. Might make one later on when I get the materials. Battery. Let's see what we need for that. Copper wire. Uh, we need a battery for this, right? No, we need magnesium and crash fish powder. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Uh, I think I can make magnesium. Do I have the salt for it? I have one salt. Deposit. Let's take a look in here. No salt. Let me crash fish around. Grab me this quartz. Wanna find caves. Salvage, I'll take it, why not? 
that. We're running out of oxygen. Let's get up to the surface. That planet, man. Oh my god, isn't that beautiful? I bet I know I don't have the best graphic settings right now, but it's still so damn good looking, is it not? And the thing's moving. Look at that shit. Incredible. This game is utterly beautiful. I love it. Every second of it. Let's go ahead and grab me one of these bladderfish. Alien life forms have an unexpected char characteristic and applications. Utilizing alien resources will something. <laughs> will be beneficial to me in the future. Basically, in a nutshell. Now, where is Lampook? I'm on Skype with that fuck right now. Ugh, yeah. Sorry, I am going a little bit overboard. I'm a bit of a cussy guy. Uh, let's grab a. Uh, let's grab some water from it. Now this is probably one of the most gruesome inventions or perhaps processes in the game. You take a fish, and then you drain it of water. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I'm doing it still. It's just a video game, but, and I gotta survive this video game. <laughs> For you guys, man, I do I do it for the views. So I've got to do something, and that's the only way I I know how to survive. Man, the sounds in this game are utterly incredible too. Let's get some quartz. All right now, in this cave, there should be some crash fish. Break this open. What did we get? We picked up lead. Nice. Hello? Still a few glitches, you know, some, I don't want to say clipping errors, but some, uh, some placement errors in the game, is what I would call it. I don't know what the term for it is. Let's go ahead and grab this. And... Perfect. I don't think we're going to get the repair tool in this game. Or in this episode, but I sure as hell will try. Ten seconds of oxygen okay, I get it. I get it. This game is incredible. Of such an environmental game like this deserves ultimate praise. This is amazing. Oh man, I love it. Every second of it. I'm pretty sure there'll come a time when I'm just like, eh, man, I've been playing so much Subnautica, I don't want to do any more. Oh, giant coral tubes, I thought that was something I could break. Oh, come on, man, I want some freaking stuff. Alright, fine, I'll grab you and head back to my ship. No, hey, I was supposed to grab you. There we go. Unfortunately, my computer isn't up to par, so it is kind of hard to catch fish, because my mouse is a bit latent in the turning. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, Warning. right. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise nice. observing a one kilometer safety range. Let's go ahead and grab some food. Oh. There we are. Pull it out. Eat it. Ugh. I didn't eat it. Ah. Oh right. I have a health pack. You know, uh, I actually watched a video recently about how uh, people or uh, Red Cross has actually stopped video games from using the Red Cross. I'm pretty sure there are certain exceptions of it. Like this game, you kind of do need the med kit, uh, and it is a it, it's an, it is a, a sort of a marine biology game. This game does bring in studies of life and stuff like that, but still, even when the way the med kit is used is so, I want to say, absurd that. Red Cross probably would put an end to the use of the Red Cross in this game, and they'll probably have to switch it over. However, uh, I don't know the full information because I didn't pay all that much attention to it. It was just something that I wanted to watch. 
and uh, found interesting. I need more bladder fish. Um, so I just watched through it and said, huh, well, those are some cool reasons as to why, uh, why Red Cross has done that. I could get behind that. Also, I'm pretty sure that anybody would have known that I would have clicked on it. <laughs> or most, that a lot of, it, the video would get a lot of clicks. What the, oh, that was, that was that sea whale thing. Uh, kind of like the, the Kiss air guitar strings. You know people are going to buy that. Of course people are going to buy that. It's a gag. It's a stupid little gag. You get a bag of air for three, four dollars. Which isn't too bad. I mean, could be worse. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. See if we can build that uh, scanner now. Because I do need one of those. Luckily my phone has not gone off. And I completely forgot to silence it. Let's get into the hatch. Tools. Can I make one of those? Oh, yeah, air bladder. Uh, battery. I need a battery. Let's go ahead and grab a battery. And a scanner. Perfect. The handheld spectroscope scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and, re and to record alien biological stuff. <laughs> Didn't get that last word. Damn it. Alright. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's just scan some acid mushrooms. So, I'm a... F That's some salt right there. That's magnesium in my pocket. So unfortunately, uh, I can't wait any longer, guys. Uh, this has been uh, quite a long enough video. So I wanted to get to the part where some really cool stuff happens, but it only just came up. So <laughs> this has been Undammed, and I appreciate you guys watching. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, and I'll see six, you in the next episode. Five, four, three, two.